Hi everyone, and welcome to this episode of It's, it's a, a Good, good thing. thing. And this episode, the topic is just two identi identical twins, male, and they were one was raised as a Nazi and one was raised as a Jew. So they were separated, oh. from, separated at birth. They had completely wow. different lifestyles, and they met each other in their early twenties. And um, it was crazy because their first interaction with each other was they had the identical clothes and exactly the same color with two buttons and they had the exact same shirt and the same glasses and he said to him, why are you wearing the same thing I am? <laughs> and, it, and then he said, we didn't like the fact that we looked so identical. Wow. And then they went 25 years again without seeing each other. You have a picture? Oh, uh, yeah, I do have a picture. I'll put it up here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so then I think they had like the 25 years and they didn't probably have an interest in seeing each other again because they probably just really weirded out. But what happened is that Youth was one of the guy who was raised as a Jew, as I'm assuming that's how I pronounce his name. His then wife, Ona, showed him a magazine article about the Gem Twins, another uh, pair of twins that were separated at birth, and mm. both their adopted parents named them Jim. The Jims were separated as babies and were reunited when they were 39 years old. When the Jims met for the first time, they discovered that their lives were peppered with bizarre coincidences. My first wife's name was Linda. My first wife's name was Linda. I divorced Linda and married Betty. And then my second wife's name was Betty, and now I'm married to Sandy. Well, she's kind of leery that she hopes I don't ever come across her a Sandy. I got interested in the woodwork because uh, my father, he was always doing woodwork. Uh, I've been doing woodworking for quite a long time. My first son's name was James Allen. My first son was, was James Allen. My favorite beer was uh, Miller Lite, and I've always smoked Salem cigarettes. My favorite beer is, is Miller's Lite, and smoking, I, I smoke Camel Lite, but then I smoke Salem Lite, too. I, I switch back and forth. I was in the sheriff's department in Miami County as a deputy. I was a deputy sheriff for seven years. The wife is telling the first twin, okay, <laughs> that you should be part of the study. So then they um, were in the study, okay. and it was crazy because they couldn't have the different, the most different backgrounds ever, and how right. totally similar they were. Right. Despite the fact that Oscar was old-fashioned and traditional, and Jack was a liberal Californian, their personality profiles were strikingly similar. Both were stubborn and arrogant, and both were fiercely competitive. I just said that they were repelled and fascinated by each other. Repelled <laughs> and fascinated. During my life. <laughs> yeah, because they lived completely, you know, where one as a Nazi saying Jews are horrible, and one as a Jew saying Nazis are horrible, and they meet each other and they know they're brothers, and they're totally identical in every way. They have the same temperament, the same sense of style, all that stuff. And But there's this barrier. I don't think that's Basic wow. religious core value barrier, yet everything about them is... Remarkably uh. the same. We try, both tried to like each other. We both tried very hard, and we both tried to tolerate each other. We both tried to enjoy each other's company. But there was always something in the background that, uh, that was uh, somewhat uh, intolerant. He saw some things intolerant in me, and so did I in him. Well, it's amazing the difference between nature versus nurture. That's always fascinated me as a topic in psychology. And so, like, those studies are really, really interesting. It's when they're inside the womb is when all of that connection is being made. And they're, uh, that's just wild. Well, is it even inside the womb or when there's still that single egg? <laughs> because once they split, they're different. <laughs> So how much of that personality is made, created? I have to read this part, though. It says, Siegel once asked you if he loved his brother. Noting that they spent no more than a month together as adults, he replied, Love each other. We don't even know if we like each other. What he did know <laughs> is that he could not blame his brother for the circumstances that um, 
put them on opposite sides of World War II. Children have no say in what they're taught, he told Siegel. And if we'd been switched, I would have taken Oscar's place for sure. And he said, it doesn't bother me, but I'm glad I was not on the other side. Oh, no oh. kidding. So, yeah, it brings up a lot of now? interesting questions. The idea that we are all running around a track following some predetermined genetic script is repellent. But some twin stories really make you wonder. That it's hard to escape the thought that they've been shaped by forces deeper and ultimately more important than just their home environment. Hmm. Wow. Totally Another amazing. interesting good thing on this episode. And uh, if you're a twin and have a fun, crazy twin story to share, yeah. share it with us uh, and great. post in the comment below. Um, but for this week, it's one interesting topic. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, Jesse. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye.